If you spend much time on Facebook, you probably know that it is awash in right wing content. And not just from traditional publishers of that sort of thing like Fox News, but smaller operators like Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire are some of the most shared providers of content on Facebook. But they didn't necessarily get to that place in the way you might expect. And joining us now to break it down is a journalist, lawyer, and the author and founder of the, the daily newsletter, Popular Information. Judd Legum, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you on. So you did a big expose on how exactly Ben Shapiro, Daily Wire, and some of these other right wing sites has become, have become as massive as they have. Before we delve into the techniques, how, how big are they? How, how competitive are they compared to some of these other traditional publishers of, of news content? It's, it's pretty remarkable just how successful they are. <clears throat> you know, a site like the Daily Wire, which has just a couple of dozen reporters who are writing very short, aggregated articles with, with not much new in there, uh, are able to get as much engagement on Facebook as the New York Times and more than the Washington Post. And that actually understates quite a bit just how successful they are because they're only producing a small fraction of the content that someplace like the New York Times that employs a thousand journalists uh, is producing. So it's matching the New York Times on Facebook with maybe a 15th of the number of articles, a thousand articles wow. instead of 15,000 articles, but still getting the same amount of engagement, which is the amount of likes, the shares, the comments. And that's really important because that's what Facebook uses to determine the distribution. So Ben Shapiro is getting incredible, immense distribution uh, for, for his articles uh, on Facebook that's really not reflected in the real world as far as the influence mm -hmm. uh, that he has outside of Facebook. But inside Facebook, he's, he's competing with uh, all of the biggest uh, outlets that are, that are breaking news and, and actually do yeah. some useful journalism. So look, so hypothetically, if they were putting out all this content and they just knew their audience and their audience just really liked it, that might be one thing. But in your investigation, you find that they are not necessarily doing it the old fashioned way, playing by the rules. How have they gotten to the position where they can compete on equal footing with you know massive organizations like the New York Times? Well, they're getting substantial lift from a number of different tactics that appear to violate Facebook's rules, although Facebook isn't doing anything about this and we can get into why maybe later. But what they're doing is, and what my last article exposed was, they have essentially entered a partnership with a site called Mad World News. And this is a really notorious site that essentially takes old articles, maybe about black on white crime, maybe about rape, just the most divisive content it can find. Maybe it's two years old, maybe it's five years old. They rewrite it, they give it a fresh URL, and then they post it to a network of Facebook pages. Um, that have millions of people. Uh, mm -hmm. And this got to be so huge, this was profiled actually by the New York Times in, the, in their daily podcast. They, they interviewed these, these folks, um, they're called the, the peoples uh, who, who run these sites. And what Ben Shapiro has done is he's apparently struck some kind of deal where in addition to promoting their own content, 10 or 11 times per day, these five massive pages post the same Daily Wire article at the same time yeah. and are generating lots of engagement. So this is obviously a huge boost uh, to the Daily Wire and the Daily Wire's distribution. And that, that sort of coordinated boosting of content is not supposed to happen according to the rules, correct? As far as we understand. Yeah. As far as I understand them, definitely not. It says that you can't engage in these artificial mechanisms to make content seem more popular. Uh, than it is. So you have a you have a site that says they're the Mad World News site, but all of a sudden they're promoting the Daily Wire, and they're not just. No, we one thing if they said, "Oh, Mad World News just this happened upon a Daily Wire article and decided they liked it, yeah. uh, and they were going to post it." That would be fine. But if over three months, and this is what I established in my investigation, ten or eleven times every day, all five pages that are controlled by this. Mm -hmm. 
junk Facebook network uh, post the same Daily Wire articles every single time, well, then by common sense, you realize this is not just them happy upon the articles. This is a deal. Uh, and it's yeah. likely a financial deal where Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire are paying these people to promote uh, their stories. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.